Game. All right, motherfuckers, this is Master Marks, and I'm coming back with another motherfucking goddamn live video. <laughs> All right, look, I'm sorry that I didn't drop a video yesterday. I had some family things come up um, that I have to tend to. Everybody know when family shit come up, you got to make sure that's taken care of. So let's get to the fucking topic of today. Today's topic is simply titled, Tony Khan is wasting MJF's career, part two. This is the second coming of why Tony Khan is wasting MJF's career. <laughs> now, the last time when I made this video, MJF had won the Casino Battle Chip, Battle Star, White Trash Galactica Championship. Or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, uh, chip or whatever. Not championship. It's not a championship. Uh, now, fast forward. MJF is the AEW World Heavyweight Champion. And to be honest with the AEW Pack Smokers, shout out to the motherfucking AEW Pack Smokers, it means absolutely fucking nothing. MJF winning the AEW World Heavyweight Championship means nothing. It doesn't help the brand. It doesn't help MJF. It's a waste of fucking time. Now, granted, don't get me wrong. The Wardlow and MJF shit, that's good content. That's good shit. It is. But if it's booked like some bullshit and they are made to both look like two jobbers in the ring, it's an absolute waste of fucking time. <laughs> it's a waste of fucking time. Like... MJF and Warlow are two guys right now that could go to WWE and excel. Big time. But because AEW is not built correctly, them two being world heavyweight champions means absolutely nothing. It don't mean shit. Because MJF should have won the world heavyweight title a long time ago. They should have put the belt on MJF and let him be the reason why AEW is what AEW is. Instead, they turned it into a complete mark fest and made John Moxley the champion, Kenny Omega the champion, Adam Hangman Page the champion, CM the Skank Skunk fucking Karen Punk the champion. Like, they wasted so much fucking time. AEW really should have only had like three champions that was really important. Chris Jericho, Brody Lee, MJF. That was it. There was a point in time where, where Chris Jericho was the world heavyweight champion and he should have lost to Brody Lee. When Brody Lee was at that point and he was excelling with the Dark Order, as much as that really pains me to say because the Dark Order is a fucking joke, Without Brody Lee, that group don't even fucking exist. At a point in time, Brody Lee was the best they had. Which would have got him into a storyline with MJF. MJF could have did a babyface thing or a heel thing, and Brody Lee kind of go to being a babyface, depending on if Tony Khan feels like actually booking the matches and not just sending motherfuckers out there to wrestle like it's a fucking circus. They really only needed three champions. Chris Jericho, Brody Lee, and MJF. John Moxley didn't need to be champion because he did absolutely nothing for the title. Kenny Omega didn't need to be champion because he did absolutely nothing for the title. Matter of fact, to be honest with you, Kenny, Kenny Omega holding all of those fucking belts means absolutely nothing for the wrestling business. It was a waste of time. So because of that, Tony Khan has wasted all of this fucking time when you could have just had three champions and your brand and your title would have actually meant something. Jericho being the first, that's a historic thing. He's a legend, Chris Jericho. Brody Lee, he's a big guy. He could talk on the mic. He had a little bit of charisma. He, he was decent, you know, minimal in-ring work that was needed. Then MJF, charisma, character, swag, good talker on the mic, minimal in-ring work needed, can draw natural heat, 
But also, we deep down inside know that he tries to draw cheap heat sometimes and try to get that baby face heat, which is not my favorite thing in the world. A heel face, I can't stand a heel face. You're either a fucking heel or you're a fucking face. There's no heel face. Heel face just seems lazy to me. A heel is somebody that people absolutely fucking hate. And then as time goes by... The people who like heels start treating them like a baby face and they transition into being a baby face. It's simplistic. You're not going to be both at the same time. That's a waste of fucking time. That's a AEW thing. And a new Triple H thing too. Triple H loves heel faces. I don't know why, but it's fucking stupid. Um, but, okay, now MJF is the AEW world heavyweight champion he did the presser and he said thank you fuck you bye which is a jim Cornette thing and i seen something on twitter that basically said that mjf is not going to wwe it's a possibility he's not because mjf is so young and his brain is fresh in the business he's not a vet in the business he's been in the business for a little bit but he doesn't have a vet's mind he thinks probably that being an AEW might be the best thing for him that whole thing where he talks about leaving the WWE and, and the, the 2024 shit, I don't necessarily know if MJF is going to go to WWE. Now, the thing is, that depends on what WWE say. Because at that point in time, WWE could possibly be like, listen, motherfucker, we're going to put $10 million, uh, $100 million in your bank account. We're going to have you be the world heavyweight champion. We're going to have you go over somebody that's in the business all you know chris jericho yeah chris jericho is somebody that used to be in AEW. we're gonna have you go over him we're gonna have you go over all of these other fucking people and blah blah fucking blase blah 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 do they need mjf wwe mm, i kind of think they do there's a lot of people that they can get rid of and put in a mjf in their place um but yeah do i think a mjf is going to wwe i don't necessarily believe it at this point in time now, this is what brings me to the point where Tony Khan is wasting MJF's career. MJF's career is being absolutely wasted because now he's going to be stuck in AEW and he's going to have this mind frame because he, he, he's impressionable as, as a person. It, he seems like a genuine dude or whatever. He's going to have this mind frame that they made him an AEW champion and he has to give AEW his loyalty. Now, here's the thing. MJF being AEW champion could possibly mean that MJF starts looking around and like, hold on, I'm the heavyweight champion and I'm not treated like a heavyweight champion. I don't even look like a heavyweight champion. I don't feel like a heavyweight champion. This belt feel like holding the dollar store title or holding the motherfucking uh, a gas station wrestling belt or going to motherfucking uh, Saudi Arabia and ordering the wrestling belt like some motherfuckers do. MJF, is, it's a possibility he might feel like, well, what the fuck am I wasting my time here? So let's hope that that becomes the situation. But Tony Khan, you should have fucking made MJF the champion a long time ago. It's too late now. You are too deep in doo-doo, dog shit, dookie. You're too deep, Tony Khan. There is no saving AEW. MJF can't save AEW. He can't. No matter how charismatic and how much he can talk on the mic and what kind of storylines he has, MJF can't save AEW. And you know how I know that? Because Cody Rose couldn't do it. CM Punk couldn't do it. Soraya couldn't do it. Dean Moxley couldn't do it. Brian Daniel couldn't do it. Daniel Bryan couldn't do it. None of these people can save AEW. They have a loyal fan base of fat idiots, neckbeards, and no casuals give a fuck about it. Casuals aren't going to watch AEW. Having MJF as the champion is not going to help AEW. You have no storylines. You have no build. You have no fucking hype. So that being said, with MJF becoming the champion when it's pretty much at the downfall of AEW, at the end, seems like, he's wasting his career, his good years. 
Yes, he works one day a week, but that one day a week, he could spend that in the PC learning how to wrestle better or getting that, that minimum in-ring work that's, that's needed a little bit more. He could spend that one day a week at the PC. And at least down the line, I mean, MJF did get a movie role in the Von Eric movie. That's cool. But what is the future for MJF? His ceiling in AEW, what is the ceiling? Where is he going to go? What is he going to achieve being in AEW? It's going to feel like he wasted his fucking career. At a point in time, let's be honest, y'all. We love AJ Styles. We fuck with AJ Styles. But a lot of TNA wasted AJ Styles' career. Now he's in the latter years of his career. And, I mean, he's still AJ Styles. He's still a legend. But he's not the AJ Styles from back in the fucking day. And a lot of that was wasted. Fucking around with Dixie Carter. And being in silly storylines where he was cheating on his wife. And all kind of fucking bullshit. Well, AJ Styles could have went to WWE and been a fucking heavyweight champion a long time ago. He could have been beating up John Cena a long time ago. He could have been beating up CM fucking Skank a long time ago. Now, he's in the later years of his career. And honestly, for a big part of it, he, he wasted. And it seems like that is the same thing that Tony Khan is going to do with MJF. He's going to waste his good years. MJF might get to WWE by the time he's 35. And then what? People not going to give a fuck about MJF when he's 35 coming from AEW. It's not Cody Rhodes. It ain't somebody who went out on the indie scene and got all these marks to kiss his ass and basically screwed Tony Khan over down the line. Maybe MJF may do that. We never fucking know. But we're not talking about the same situation so far. So right now, MJF is wasting his career. It don't matter if he won the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. It don't matter if he won the AEW Diamond Ring, the Bling Ring, the fucking Trailer Park Trash Championship. It doesn't fucking matter because AEW has zero prestige. The only thing that gets people watching AEW is people debuting. Or debut. Do, yeah, debuting. Debut. Y'all know what the fuck I'm saying. That is the only thing that gets people to watch AEW. And honestly, it's wasting MJF's career. This has been Master Marks. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment, tell us if you hate us, tell us if you, fuck, tell us if you love us. Um, I feel bad for MJF. Hopefully something good come out this from him when 2024 and he goes sign to WWE. But knowing Tony Khan, he's probably putting all kind of shit in his head. Uh, fuck Tony Khan. Fuck AEW. Shout out to MJF. Wish you would have won the championship a little bit earlier in this career or in this time in AEW. Honestly, I'm out this bitch.